Hello and welcome back everyone, I'm Daglo Buffalo and this is Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution The Director's Cut. When we last left off, we were in this corridor in the upper city part of Taiyang Medical. That person just kind of walked past us, not really all that interested in us being here, but there is a guard. However, the guards in this area don't seem particularly interested in us. Hello, sir. And here there's only the garage for the security bot. Don't know what else to call it. Nothing behind there. And we're supposed to go upstairs. Okay, there's two more guards, but behind a door, so it's not like we can do anything to them anyway. Data core. That sounds like somewhere we want to be. Because of the information that Van Bruggen gave us. Question is... Well, there's a garden camera over there. But they don't seem to be doing much of anything. At least they're not coming this way, so we should be good to hack the store. And at level Whoa, this is super easy. Access granted. 100 XP and nuke virus. And we are in. Okay. Nothing much of anything in here. We got some money. We can't turn off the radio. Oh, and the computer's unlocked. So, next targets. Mitnick, Queen Bitch just sent down a new list. Wants access to the following Co's financials ASAP. And Pro Tech, Scotland, Mert International, Germany, Cypro Clinical, USA, Caskian Sons, Iceland, Advanced Cybernetics, PLC, Brazil, Insight Manufacturing, Korea. Your peen? Is that short for penetration? Testing skills aren't too bad. Get them started for me. I got I got a deal with Nuclear Snake again. He's becoming a real pain in the ass. Windmill. Oh, that was Van Bruggen actually sending that. And a ton of post-its. But nothing else of any interest in this room. Now those guys are still green, but I don't trust them. I'd like you to notice that. Okay, this is an open office. To Hello, people! Sources close to the multinational giant inform me that it has successfully purchased rival corporation. Okay. They don't seem to particularly care that we are here. Not explain how millions of dollars in revenue ended up in his personal account. We're facing sure the other way, so we can grab this. Ru, and this. Medical, transfer of ownership was officially declared. The purchase Maybe we can... a significant increase in global market share. Is this unlocked? Yeah, it is. This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you live from Pike. And actually, that reminds me, I saw when I was editing the earlier videos that we didn't look at... Um, the emails that we had downloaded off of the last computer that we hacked. So... Big Brother. Uh, let's read the first email. Hey, bo hey boss, I appreciate you lowering the mailbox limit to four, but I'm still having a tough time keeping up on what employees are writing. 
I'm afraid I won't be able to pinpoint the most dangerous dissidents in time. Any chance I can get some help here? I understand. It's a lot of reading to stay on top of. But I doubt finance will agree to a new hire. I'll ask Mitnick to refine search parameters. Should help you stay on top of the most sensitive emails. Aha! Uh -huh. That explains the four mail limit. So let's see attention. Due to malicious actions taken by former employee, I think we already saw this. Really? You had this you had to send this to me? I wrote the stinking code. So Mitnick Queen Bitch, we've seen this. Researcher Howl. The manufacturing department has complained has completed a test run of several of your new product designs. There is some concern about durability which with hinged parts, joints, ligature. So we would like to send the samples back to you for final testing before we begin mass production. Here's a list of the items that are on their way up. Retinal augmentation X45 or times 45 units, prosthetic arm times 95 units, and calf implants times 27 units. Please be sure to run the Takeshi uh, ta uh, the Takahashi spectrum analysis on all parts to determine alloy integrity. Model serial numbers will match up with the testing codes that I sent to you. Politely yours, Guaron. Uh, you are right to bring this to my attention. Gua is a new hire and has not yet been briefed on our testing procedures. Give me 24 hours to explain to him. Uh, to explain it to him and then send the items back down. Okay. So this is still about the whole, like, um, inferior materials things going on. Uh, Mingli, you voiced your feelings about some faulty products to the VP. I know you're a man of integrity. I think we've already seen this. Let's, let's try to get rid of all the new flags. Actually, everything's good. Well, never mind. Let's move on. So. Oh, there's actually nothing behind here. Oh, but there is denied the allegations, a door on the other side here that we can walk out of. Well, as I said, these people shouldn't be paying attention to this. Hello, Where sir. Where do you think you're going? The data core room is for authorized personnel only. You're not going to get in there. Okay. Well, let's leave for now. I was looking for the cafeteria. Sorry. Let's see if we can find any other pertinent information. Then maybe we'll come back. So. Oh, hi. I think once. Hello, sir. Do you not want to go away, please? So I can hack this laser barrier. We could walk through now, but I'm afraid of getting stuck on the other side, so I'd rather hack it. But if he's gonna move off now... Yeah, let's hack it. Oh, level one. That shouldn't be too difficult. And indeed it is not. Access granted. Extra nuke virus. Does that... Oh, yep, that only takes care of this barrier. Oh, what's that noise? Whoa. Okay. He doesn't like us being here. Okay, so once we're through this barrier, we're actually not safe anymore. So let's see. Whoa! Step away from the railing, sir. You might fall off. Even though I believe that's a window. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, this is not good. I'm afraid somebody's gonna find him. So, let's 
be a little bit more methodical. I'll wait for him. Oh, he's coming back this way. That works. So he's got nothing of interest on him. So let's... Maybe try and hide him over here. All right. So, I don't see anyone else on my radar, so we should be good moving up. virus. Where is the other guy that was standing by that barrier with him? There... oh, there's somebody is. There's two of them. Oh, okay, so that guy moves off. But this guy's still facing us. And now he turns around. Question is, do we still have enough time to take this guy out? Okay, good. Pocket secretary. Data core room re rear entrance access code 0703. The code must be considered top secret. Do not divulge. Oh, well, he just did. Ooh, data core. This must be the room. However, I first want to check out what's over here and then over there. So this is another one of those super heavy guards. <gasps> Nothing our super punching abilities can take care of. You guys are not very well hidden over here, but better than nothing. Whoa. Didn't mean to do that. And let's steal his money. Storage room. Nice. Nothing behind here. There's a candy bar. And a vent that probably, I would guess, gives us access to the data core. But there's people over there. But they're facing the other way. Now the question is... Actually, let me try and get in there before they stop talking. Sir, I finished my installation of the security upgrades in the data core room. Good. Now nothing can... 
And this way we took out both of them. And put them into positions where they're difficult to see. He doesn't have anything on him. Got a pocket secretary. As you are aware, the perimeter of the data control room must be kept completely secure. This area is of utmost importance and unauthorized visitors must be kept out at all times according to official protocol. If you require more information regarding sanctioned procedures, please refer to the section titled Lockdown Procedures in the security manual you received during training. This is a code red directive. If you deviate from this directive, you will be summarily disciplined. Move him a little bit further under the table. There's an ebook. Nothing there. Nothing there either. Oh, come on. Bunch of useless stuff, but this is useful. Some money here. So, let's do some light reading. Synthetic thought, the human AI. Can a machine think like a man? Since the late 90s, the scientific community's attempt to construct what one might call a biocomputer system have evolved from pure science fiction to a viable, very real research endeavor. Consider a biomatter device with the capacity to repair itself, to reprogram itself, perhaps even at some advanced levels to comp of complexity to modify its own structure to better perform its assigned tasking. The ongoing maturation of nan nanobiotechnology has opened the gateway to the construction of nanoscale systems utilizing biologically derived components merging organic interfaces with the processing capacity of traditionally de uh, derived computer architecture. Pioneering designs already exist, using pattern variations built on the brain structure of minor phylum rodentia and canines, and the potential for a human-scale iteration of this technology is not only possible, but if successful, may represent a radical evolution in thinking systems. Computers unlocked. Password, SAS Security Hub. I found another of Windmill's Easter eggs in our systems, a keylogger installed on the SES room security hub. I got rid of it and changed the login password. Here are the new ones. Blah, login password. Can you tell Peng? And the mailbox regulations again. And yeah, we also want to take care of this. Access granted. Easy peasy. 10 XP. Oh, come on. And one nuke virus. So let's turn off the cameras and we can also open the door. All right, let's quickly check out the lockers. Ammo that we don't want and nothing else. And now that we've opened the door, no, oh, this guy's still friendly. What did we open? Wait, why could I not take him out? Alright, just for completion's sake. 
Okay, we can't take him out. We couldn't take him down with our usual takedown, so we had to zap him. And we'll hide him over here with his friends. Now, my question is... Ooh. Now the laser barrier that we can hack. extra credits and the barrier is off now where does this room lead oh this is a level four that seems pretty straightforward Granted. And 300 credits. Oh, it just leads back here. Yeah. Would have taken us to the same place, of course. No, wait. Oh, there is an actual moving laser barrier here. So, well, we first can move down here. Then maybe get over there because we can't get through here. Or, well, we actually could. Maybe we could jump up there. Are there any guards here? I don't see any. All right. From here we can move up to here. Coming across here is going to be fairly difficult. Let's see, because we have to be very quick. We have to actually follow the laser because it's only blocked for a very short amount of time. Well, that worked pretty well. So the big question is, is where does that vent lead? Oh, goes the wrong way. I expected it to go the other way. Okay, where am I now? Cyber boost, that... Tranquilizer darts. I don't think we can fit this, but that's just more. It's like even more candy bars. Okay, we're nowhere here. So that was just some extra goodies that we could pick up.
I expected it would actually let us circumvent some of the lasers, but apparently not. So, if we move over here... Nope. This is blocked. Apparently we can't squeeze through these bars or whatever. And we can't get in over there because there's still... Whoop. Oh, and I see some guards, but I think they're in the room over there. We should be able to move up to that thing over there. So, oh, I think I see three people in there. Probably taking all three of them out would be fairly difficult. Let's try and time this correctly. Wow, that was close. But there's nowhere to go over here. Unless we move up to there. Nice. Oh, and up there is um, probably the control panel that controls all these lasers. Problem is this camera. Or it's actually fairly slow. Actually, well we can we can just go underneath the camera into the elevator and get out of here. Richard, I'm retrieving Van Bruggen's evidence now. Is Sarah patched in? Right here, Adam. I'm listening. I just heard that your team is mobilizing in Detroit. Why wasn't I informed of this sooner? Tactical assignments are not your concern. Reed and her team have subdermal GPL implants. They'll be tracked. Kidnapping them was a mistake. Montreal took care of that. Forgive me if I don't put as much faith in our friend Eliza as you do. She's too erratic. Your concerns are noted, but I would advise you to concentrate on your own assignments instead of interfering with mine. 
Na mir auf. Boss, did you get that? I heard. I, I, I just... Megan and the others. They're alive. We've got to stay focused. Zawa's a residence at the top of the tower. It's off limits to everyone except her and her guards. Now get up there and find out what she knows. Okay, so we got the evidence that we were looking for. And now we're after Zhao, but I think we'll go after her in the next video. So for now, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like or a comment below. Subscribe to stay up to date, and I will see you in the next part. So until then, have a good one.